Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are joined <coughs> by all contract. <laughs> Let's go. How's it going, gentlemen? Gentlemen, how are you guys? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing better now, and I appreciate you guys being here. For if you could please properly introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment, and uh, plug and promote anything and everything. Uh, well, uh, my name is Corey Alexander. I'm the vocalist of Apollo Construct uh, from Battle Creek, Michigan. The old mitten. And then, Sean, you're muted. Oh, no. Sean, can you hear us? Oh, he's working on it. Okay. Hell yeah. Difficulty. No okay. worries. It happens all the time. No big deal. Dude, uh, my, my co-host today is Austin. He goes by the name of Ozzy Bear. Really, really close What's friend up? of mine. Austin, this is Corey. There's Sean right there. Sean, how are you, sir? There we go. Hello. Sorry about that. Oh, no worries. Go ahead and uh, toss out all you guys' social media links real quick before we get started. So everybody knows where to follow and sub and like and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, let me... Um, I'm going to have to get the Instagram real quick. Sean, where are you located right now? Uh, I'm in Vancouver, BC. And is it correct that you guys all met through Discord? Yeah. Yep. I got 100%. to hear the backstory on this. How how does a band form over Discord? Uh, do you want to take this, Sean, or you want me to? Uh, no, you can take this one. All right. Well, um, so we all pretty much met in uh, Josh Travis's Discord server, um, because he was doing uh his Gorf show on Fridays where he, he brings people's songs in and, and we listen to them all. Um, I was just starting on discord and learning how to use it and everything. Um, and I popped in the VC just to like, try it. And Sean was the first person that I met. Um, I was playing, uh, earthbound at the time and we hung out and then I think over time we had one night where, uh, we were just watching stuff on YouTube and we watched uh, the live colors uh, performance from between the Baird and me. And it was, it was something about the energy to where the both of us were like, dude, let's, let's do this. Like we'll, we'll figure it out as we go, but let's do a band. And over time we met our producer Howard, um, which without him, like a lot of the shit that we're doing would like essentially we wouldn't be as far as as we are now without him because he's our marketing guy uh he he mixes and masters all the songs um he works a lot and uh just over time we 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 grew all all the six members and the rest of the story tells itself here we are did you meet did you meet the producer through discord also yep Every oh, every so cool. member. What what Discord were you <laughs> in where you met so many talented, amazing humans? Where 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 could we go to beat some amazing folks? Well, we got lucky more sure. or less, but we pretty much all met through Josh Travis's server. Uh, the guitarist from uh, Tony Danza and Amir. Wow! And, Hell yeah! Uh, yep. So it's popping yeah. over there. We got to we got to check that out, Ozzy. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. That's that's a good old Gorf. That's our original crew. That is cool. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah it's well, insane. Well, I was while I was jamming your guys' <laughs> stuff today, some of the songs are different from, from others as far as like, they don't sound like each song is completely different than the next one, which is something I appreciated while jamming it. Plus, obviously, there's some throwback Tony Hawk vibes going on in 96. <laughs> Can why, why choose that one as a cover? Obviously, there, there's some punk, punk influences or something. Can we talk about that? That was actually a really funny story because we were like, we we're probably like 60% uh, through making the self-titled. And then we were talking about it'd be fun to do a cover. So like, I think me, me, Sean and our guitar player, Josh, were just throwing out a bunch of different songs in the bucket. I think we named like three different periphery songs. Um, which we, three, which three? It's my favorite band. Okay. Um, 
Zyglorox, which was mine, and very unrealistic. Um, what were the others, Sean? Because I know that they were from the remasters of the new vocal versions. Oh, shit. Uh, light. Light Light was another oh, one. Oh, Light, sure. yeah. Cannot remember the last one. Yeah. All new materials, maybe? Yeah. We had a big, long list of, of, of just different songs. We were, like, kind of sort of thinking... But I remember one day I was I was just scrolling through my YouTube feed and I, I got a recommendation for uh, it was one of the live versions of 96. And I just started watching it and I just had that epiphany of that's the one. JT saying and, race car, by the way. Was was it race car? Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. Uh, if so, if someone had never heard you guys before, what song would you prefer we jam first? We have already played Radio Silence right before you hopped in here just to kind of get him amped up. But uh, a second song that you'd think you suggest this one, a Skinwalker or uh, Strange at Constant Force. What do you what do you think is a song that you hand someone the headphones and be like, you got to check this one out? Yeah, uh, I don't know about you, Sean. I'm feeling Skinwalker. I say Skinwalker, too. Let's Skinwalker go. it is. We're hanging out with Hollow Construct. Please support him. Hit the follow button. Show him some love. It's filthy. And your producer killed it, too. Like, he did such a good job on it. Thanks, man. Ozzy. I know he's in the chat watching now, so he appreciates that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the hell producer. Yeah. Uh, I forgot his name. I apologize. Howard. Chris? Howard. Way off. Uh, Ozzy, what's the question or two you have for the band? So, you guys are all from different locations right mm -hmm. i am dying to know the writing process who starts it do you guys take turns what goes in first like please break this down for us honestly it's <clears throat> it's a little bit chaotic it's kind of anyone with anything comes forward has something throws it in the chat and is like anyone want to deal with it this anyone want anything right for this like anyone hear anything yeah. and basically it just goes from there I th i'd say the biggest thing that we always try to do is um because one of our original goals with doing this band was as long as we have fun you yeah. know and being able to fully put in like what <clears throat> we hear and want to do in songs um and having that freedom gives that ability to like say if i make a skeleton and then send it to the band chat and then Sean adds his bass and synth stuff, and then it comes back around to Papa to make a solo or something. You know, it it, it it's it's pretty much. It do you, do you when, when you do that? Do you send like do you all use Logic? Do you all use Pro Tools? So sending the whole entire session is easy back and forth to each other, or is it just like a bounced wave file that he just lays something down and we'll figure out all that stuff later? So funny story about that. Um, we all kind of use our own mixes of of DAWs because myself and Josh and Papa have Reaper. Um, Shauna has it as well, but he uses Ableton. I'd say a lot more often. Yeah. And then, does Howard and have uh, Cubase or Pro Tools? I can't remember. Pro Tools. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Cool. It all works. I mean, it's it's all yeah. good. No problem. I know you guys yeah. brought some hot sauce. I did. Excellent. Excellent. Nothing fancy. It's it totally counts. It totally counts. Could got you? Some. <laughs> oh, there we go. I mean, that counts too. Hell yeah. There we go. Could you and Sean Corey agree to a movie or TV show that you've seen so much that if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped? Because if you do, you have to drink the hot sauce. Don't worry whether you get it right or wrong. I'm going to do the hot sauce with you. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to bomb at this personally. Um, oh yeah, same, hundred yeah. percent. Well, just you—you you get to pick the movie or TV show. That's the thing. Oh, okay. So, could you and Sean agree to either a movie or a TV show that you will not get stumped if I ask you trivia on it? Um, weren't we trying to watch Metalocalypse like a while back, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Not Wanda Star that. Wars, Simpsons, South Park, Married with Children, you, nothing like that. Harry Potter. What do you think, Sean? Mmm, shit. 
I'm very indifferent, all the same. I'm just here for the ride. JT says Metalocalypse. He's he's in chat saying that's what he thinks let's, you guys should roll with. I'd say let's, Metalocalypse as well. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, cool. Uh, Ozzy, go ahead and hit him with another question while I look up some Metalocalypse trivia. Am I allowed to have chips with my hot sauce? Yeah, yeah sure. Just, just no rules. The fact that you're even willing to consider the hot sauce, we, we already won. Absolutely. Um, so, people are seeing me struggle. Fuck it. <laughs> Some loud chips. So I see, I see you guys don't have a whole lot of stuff um, available right now to listen to, which is disappointing because when I checked you guys out, I really, really enjoyed it. So if you're allowed to talk about it, um, what's the next move? Can we expect like another single, a music video? Can you tell us anything about that stuff? We do have a single in the works. Um, that Excellent. will be coming out sooner, sooner than you think. But I can't quite say yet because we got some kinks to work out still. But yeah. that's, but that's going to allude to a new EP. And oh, sick. Yep. My and man, my man, Bruce, Bruce is on it. There. Bruce, Bruce is on it again. Maybe we'll see. All right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm definitely stoked to hear what you guys come out with. Hell yeah, Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Your Metalocalypse trivia. Let's see what you got. Which member of Death Clock was once in a band called Sausage Assassin? Sausage Assassin. Which member of Death Clock was once in that band? Ooh. I want to say Murderface. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. That is not correct. Enjoy the hot sauce, my friend. The answer is Squizgar Squeegelf. Oh, of course. Which I, I watched that show, but I did not know that was his name. I'm going to do some of this ghost pepper wing sauce, just so I'm still part of the party right here. Uh, fellas, have you ever considered a big time feature on a song? <clears throat> and if so, who would be the perfect fit to jump on a hollow construct record? We talk about that a lot in passing. But if we actually could, let's say money, choice. money doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter. So it could be it could be the biggest artist in the world or some unknown artist that we need to know about. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. I would personally have to say Chino. Death tones. Yeah, absolutely. Hell yeah, he would fit on like he, when I was jamming your stuff. I feel like he would fit on a, a remix of like Kagito Ergo Sum. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's that would be it's cool. funny. You, it's really funny you you say that because um, our our guitarist Josh made that observation of it. It sounds very Deftones inspired, which I have to say it was because um, around the fur is like probably like in top three. It's at number one for me. Hell yeah, that's such a great record for sure. If 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 uh, all of a sudden you guys could tour anywhere in the world, where is a place on your map you have circled that you just this country or this particular location or venue is a little more important than the rest? You say yours first, Sean. Ooh, um, <clears throat> probably Europe. But where in particular? Uh. Can we just say all of Europe? Mm. I'll, I'll take it. That, that'll work. It, it is a lot of countries. <laughs> all of Europe. It's a great just answer. all of it. And they're like tightly packed together too. So like you drive through like maybe like 30 minutes and then you're already in another country. <laughs> Hell yeah. I've never been to Europe. I would love to go. Have you been, Corey, to Europe before? Um, I toured there once in one of my older bands. What band? Uh, Dead Eyes Always Dreaming. Hell yeah. Is there, yep. was there a country while you were there that was just like, they took a little more of your cash than the other one because of the, the sightseeing, uh, I guess you'd say. Not really. Um, it was very open for us. Um, of course this was like before COVID and shit, but, right. um, no, like their, their architecture is some of the most beautiful shit I've ever seen. And there's also just something about like the culture 
and the, the audience that's there for it because like they they genuinely have a heart like a heart for not just like metal but like music and the art of it oh. in general in general and 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 very like genuinely kind people too hell yeah do, do, a, they, do they trip out when they see americans and can they tell you're american like right away like do you oh, very, stick you stick out like a so. sore thumb very much so um i got told that we talk very fast <laughs> for accents <laughs> you speak so fast <laughs> I can't keep up. Oh yeah. Uh Sean, do you play any video games? And if so, what's the greatest video game of all time? Um shit. Probably Legend of Zelda. Nice. Yeah. Uh, like the Nintendo one? Uh like Ocarina, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ocarina's really good. Oh yeah. Ozzy, what you got? So, um, what? Where do you guys draw inspiration lyrically? You know, the kind of themes and topics you want to cover in your music. What's kind of you, the message you're trying to get out with your music? So, when I'm like recording and have uh, Reaper up and doing my thing, um, I never really write down my lyrics beforehand. Um, mm -hmm. And that's just mainly because for me, I used to try that a lot back in the day and I would run into roadblocks to where like, where well, I hear patterns here, but these words aren't going to fit. And right. so um, pretty much each song we do, um, I just feel out what subject that I want to talk about in that moment. And then I'll find the patterns I want to do first. And then I'll just like try different words and sentences until I pretty much Frankenstein the whole thing together and be like, okay, this is a, a flowable thing and the words make sense. So I have a I have a similar process to that when I'm writing vocals. I like that. It's nice to know I'm not alone in it. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And plus I'm a terrible speller, so like I I, I would show <laughs> like like lyrics like to Sean or something and, and like he'd be leaving like uh, typo notes for me all the time and making fun of me. Did it's you hilarious. use the term Frankenstein it together? <laughs> mm hmm I love that right there. <laughs> it kind of leads me to my next question. In Metalocalypse, what is the name of the rock and roll clown who uses cocaine all the time? Dr. Rock, so. Dr. Rock. That is correct! Well done! Easy. Damn it! They got it. My favorite character. Oh, man. So, fellas, while we're doing this interview, I have to pour a bunch of wasabi on my tongue and continue. And I ask you, you are this. You're a madman. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> it. I ask you this. If all of a sudden a crazy label comes along and it's just like, here's $10 million per, per band member as a, a signing advance or something along the lines of this, and you've taken care of your family, you've bought a new house, you've bought a new car, the that stuff, and you've still got $8.9 million left, hypothetically all the studio gear you could ever want. What are you spending the rest of your money on? Is there a cool, fun toy that you've always dreamed of having but just could never afford? I know it's a weird question, but I feel like when rock stars finally hit that rock star stage, there's something they always wanted to buy, but they couldn't buy. What would you buy? A massive Neve console. So more studio gear. Like, if it's only one thing, then yeah, massive. Two, two things. Knowledge. Two things. Ooh. Non-studio gear. I'm just gonna wait for Sean, and then I'll I'll give mine. Well, in the meantime, All right. um, house. I would <laughs> a house. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, you can't buy those things. You can't buy those things. You've, you've bought in all the studio gear. You've taken care of your family. That includes house and okay, yeah, a car. True. You can't buy those three okay, things. Okay, true. Yeah. Okay. I I would say a bunch of art. I'd buy a mountain. A mountain? Or an island. <laughs> How much is a, a mountain, mountain going for these days? Who knows? <laughs> but I'm going to buy one. <laughs> We're going to find out. For it. <laughs> I'm going to find out how much a mountain is. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> what do you, what do you mean by art though? Like, uh, is there a specific artist that you that you favor that you would like to buy? These paintings are expensive, two or um, three hundred thousand dollars each. I've just always had an like an affinity for it. Um, when I was younger, my uncle used to take me to, to museums a lot, and I think that left an early impression of just the more surreal and abstract, and the more you have to look and think about the the piece, the more I like it. So I would probably just find different pieces I do like. You, and just do you like paint house. or or draw yourself? Every once in a while, I have like the little spats where like I have a couple different notebooks where I just doodle things, um, which is a similar process to my recording. I don't I don't really think out what I'm going to draw. I just make shapes that my brain wants to see. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Very cool. We've got yeah. time for maybe like one more question each. Ozzy, what would you be your final question for Sean and Corey? I'm curious individually, what was your guys' introduction into music in general? Like actually deciding, hey, I think I want to make music. I think I want to play it. Great question. Mine would more than likely be Metallica. Nice. Yep. Nothing wrong was, with that. Yep. It was the... Uh, it was an S and M uh, concert they did. They did the first one. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. the the yeah. symphonic band version was the one that got you yep. in. That was my cool. introduction uh, cool. to Metallica. That's so cool. And yeah, that was the first time you heard them. Yep. Wow. Okay. Wow. I am super fortunate for that too. Wow. My God. Sean, hmm. what would you say? <laughs> um. Shit. In terms of like listening to things, I'd say like Pink Floyd. Yeah, love Pink Floyd. Hell Was yeah. there any like song or album that stuck out to you? Uh, Animals. I, I don't know why you. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew <laughs> yep. you were gonna say Animals for some reason. <laughs> Animals is really good. My like personal that. favorite is is The Wall. I'd say. Corey, uh, my final question would be, as someone that has toured before, can you give us any band advice of these are mandatory things that if you've never been on tour, you're not going to think about this, but you need to bring these items? Definitely toilet paper, um, your own water, snacks, um, tape, uh, just all of the littlest tape, things tape. That, that why, why that tape why tape of. you never know like duct tape <laughs> yeah duct tape fixes tape. everything yeah yep it's true super glue and tape okay heard <laughs> <laughs> so many a lot of people say like baby wipes or wipies and yeah stuff, stuff like yep. that i heard yep. that just because you get very few chances to actually shower or do anything the, the very first tour I was on, uh, we had like a stock of uh, shampoo in a can. Where like every okay. morning after a show, you spray it up, then just drizzle it out as much as you can and you were good to go. That's a good idea. Uh, also, I yeah. chat saying that you should consider air tags now because you can like throw them in your gear. So if someone tries to break into your, your you know, the van or whatever, you can mm -hmm. track it and get your stuff back, blah, blah, blah. Ab absolutely, yeah. Fellas, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, let's say it's now December of this year, maybe November-ish. What would you, this is the final last question. What would you like to look back and say, we accomplished this? Like, what are your personal goals for the band come the next six, seven, eight months? I would say um, at that point to be able to uh, look back be uh, because I feel like by then the next EP will most certainly be out um just to say that we made songs that matter to us and affects people like you guys and everyone here in the chat um just to say we left a mark and expressed ourselves the most that that we could you know um i say it all the time but i could like as as far as a scale of like quote unquote how big we get like i could care less like i just want to make things that matter like musically i love that so. shot anything to add 
Honestly, I completely agree with everything said there. Like, as long as we can reach a point where we're happy with what we're doing and we can continue to do what we do and be happy, then yep. everything is perfectly fine. Exactly. Well said. Really quick, Corey, go like this for me so I can see your tattoo really well. Oh, hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah, Corey. Side here. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean right there? Sparrow. Sparrow. Okay, cool. Yep. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean and Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Avado Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, fellas. Can I throw this on YouTube later tonight? Absolutely. Hell yeah. yeah. I'll tag you in a bunch of stuff. I appreciate your time. Bless you. And uh, we'll see you soon, hopefully.